Hi everybody, uh, thank you for coming back to my channel. My name is Jess and this is Jess on a Budget. Um, I just kind of wanted to do an introduction video just to kind of introduce you guys to who I am and how we do as a family, my husband and I, what we're doing with the uh, cash, the zero base cash stuffing and cash budgeting system. And then, uh, and why we're doing it this way. As you may have noticed, I do not have a bills binder because all of our bills are on auto pay to come out of our accounts. Um, with that being said, in terms of <laughs> our banking, our main bank is not currently where we live. We both are current, are uh, disabled veterans and we, we bank through a different bank than where we're currently located. And I mean, that's fine, you know, it's just, it's who I've banked with for goodness, 16, 17 years, and who my husband has banked with for just a little under that as well. But we are, and we're okay with this. But what we did do was open up a bank account here where we live with a local bank so that we can go in and do other kinds of local transactions or make our, and this is how, you know, we make our cash. We pull our money from our main bank account from the ATM that we know we will not need in our account. And then we do go ahead and take that into the bank and get different denominations and cash stuff it. So that's why I'm also having issues coming up with a, a teller slip to bring to my, my bank teller because I already will have my 20s, you know, so I'll do it for, for future cash stuffing purposes just to show you guys how many 20s I had on my teller slip, but I have to come up with one for myself. Um, that being said, I did find a uh, kind of a, a book from another cash stuffer that I really liked that I thought would help with our um, budgeting journey and it is from baddies and budgets and this is her book I just liked how things were laid out in it especially on the budget planner um, you can see here yeah here here's the budget planner here's a blank sheet so I just like how you can put the date of when you got paid uh, you give the breakdown of paychecks, what it is, total, you put all your bills here. And this is how we track our bills coming out of our accounts. And then down here, you do, um, you can do your cash envelopes, which are your variable expenses, things you're going to be in every day, like my everyday binder I have. And then here's your, you know, your column to, try to do your sinking funds. And then you have one for debt and then one for extra savings. So I just really liked this part. She also does just offer a notepad for just this sheet, but there are many other resources in here. Let me go to a blank month and show you guys the resources. So this is where it will start. She has a blank calendar that you can fill out and you can put, you can color code your highlighted bills or whatever you want throughout the month. She has a bills tracker. She has a monthly budget sheet. I don't personally use this. Um, I, I don't know. I just, I just don't. She has a sinking funds and I am going to start using this in future months now that I'm more you know, involved in my cash stuffing the way that I am. And then here are your budget planner sheets. She has four for each month in here for four separate pay, check, pay periods. If you're paid weekly, it works for that very well. If you're paid bi-weekly, it works for that. Um, maybe you have a side hustle paycheck or, I don't know, you had a garage sale and you, you, netted $225 from your garage sale, you can mark that down here and then, you know, budget it out for bills or sinking funds or whatever. Uh, this has a sinking funds breakdown, which I, I don't use this. 
um, currently, but I might. Uh, it has a weekly check-in, so you can check in and, you know, see your progress throughout the week. She does have up to five weeks on here for what some people call those magic months where we, if you're a, a weekly paid employee, you might get paid five times instead of four. There is an expense tracker on here, which I think is very good. You know, track oil changes, car rotate, you know, tire rotations, um, just, you know, many, many different things, honestly. Uh, it's great for, you know, there's three sheets at least. And then a sinking funds monthly tracker. Now I just started filling this in to track how I did in May. And I think I really like the idea of the sinking funds tracker. That's going to help a lot. And then she also provides a month end overview. There are six months of sheets worth in here for every month you know to help you track she has some uh additional challenges in here that you can do by yourself you know so there's a 52 week five thousand dollar challenge there's also some down there and then she has an emergency fund challenge and then bonus amounts down there as well um, debt payoff trackers here to, to follow if that's something you're interested in. There's a few sheets of that, and then that's it. But yeah, I thought this was a very useful tool for me to start using because it's just kind of all here in one place. I don't have to go hunt Pinterest or YouTube and find maybe other people that have different things. It's just all right here. So this is kind of like my almost book of knowledge, if you will, while I, while I start my journey. And I really love this. I did buy two pads of the, uh, the, the budget planners just cause I knew I was going to use those. And I just liked the, the layout that they were in, but yeah, so that's why I do not have a bills binder is just cause all of our bills do come out auto draft and we just transferred some of the bills to AutoDraft out of my account as opposed to my husband's. We currently do not have a joint bank account. Uh, when we got married, that was just a decision we made. We never wanted to fight about money. And honestly, that was probably the best decision ever because we don't fight about money. Now, we do have some consumer credit card debt and we're not fighting about it. We did it. It was a joint effort. Now we're paying the consequences, you know, and we have this plan to pay off our debt. So we're going to work on it together. And I'm so glad he's on, on the ball with me with doing this. Um, but in our home binder, I did just add some new budget sheets. Can you see that? I did laminate them. I got them in the mail today. I did order them off Timu. They were actually fairly decently priced and they're really good quality, but I did laminate them just so that I can reuse them. I don't want to have to continue to buy more. Um, you know, so I'll just use a little a permanent marker, a Sharpie pen, if you will, to go over and to write in everything. So I do have to fill mine out, but you know, we're, we're pretty excited about this. I did add them to certain categories that I thought were important you know home maintenance should get one household I got I gotta laminate some more I just only did one back pack just to see how I liked them but it was pretty easy um and then HO you know HOA will get stuff next month we're not going to track it on the, the tracker like that that one's going to be fairly easy um every day now your everyday variable expenses, you, you, you could have something different, you know, you, you might budget for coffee throughout the week and that's fine. You know, your, your budget doesn't have to be so restrictive that you can't have fun. Like that's the main thing is that you are still able to do the things you love, maybe limit it, you know, maybe coffee uh three times a week as opposed to five or six times a week you know i coupon so i have a 
envelope in here for that. But honestly, like we have a really good stockpile now just from my couponing that I might change this, you know, and that's okay. You know, my variable expenses will change all the time. I did go ahead, if you watched my, la my last video, I did go ahead and deplete this just because something came up and I ended up having a dollar left in here after I took the change out. And I was like, you know what? My daughter vacuumed today. Here's a dollar for helping with some chores. Thank you. Um, gas. I still have my full $60 in here. But my truck is now at a quarter of a tank um, a week into my bi-weekly pay period. And so it's, it's time for me to go fill up. Um, groceries we've been using. Remember, if you watched my last video again, I budgeted $200. And we still have 88. And yeah, my husband just went and got some milk and orange juice for the kids. So, because we were out. And then, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think I should label this? This is kind of like maybe I should add another one too. I pull from here for chores or, you know, just spending. Um, I, I do resell some of my stockpile occasionally just to get a little extra cash once in a while. And this is where it ends up, but there's only a dollar in here. So it's time for me to post something on Facebook Marketplace. But uh, I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think I should break this up and put spending on it and then put one for chores in here for the kids? Because our chore money is not really consistent, if you will. Yeah, I do have some random gift cards in here just to restaurants we like and then a, uh, a Visa debit gift card that, I don't know, I found them in our drawer and we'll go see if it has anything on it. Um, our vehicle fund. My husband does do a lot of our, our vehicle maintenance, so we definitely don't have to pay for a lot of labor. But, uh, this is, I don't know, these are coming along so very well, and I just love this. Like, I literally printed off something from Microsoft Word that I created myself for my own tracker, something that would help guide me, and I mean, you could do the same, you can find trackers from other, you know, budget ladies that I, I've watched plenty any of budget videos to kind of get the gist of this and just to get excited about it and at this point it's like almost like ASMR like I'll fall asleep watching your budget videos if you link them down below I'll do it but and, and then I just used laminating sheets the self laminating sheets and just created my own track reusable tracker you know so that way if we ever have to save up for a deductible again then we we can do it without me having to create this again. I did save the file on my computer in case I lose it, and that's okay. I have ADHD tendencies, so. But yeah, I just, I don't know, the, these were my ways of trying to make it fun for me. Um, I like pastels, you know, and then I my favorite color is orange. So it's just like this random pop of vibrant color amongst pastels, but I like that because it's just totally random uh, maintenance. So the budget sheet I got to track maintenance, so say my husband needed to go get, you know, some oil to do an oil change for our vehicles. Um, I have a budget sheet to track that, you know, we had X amount, we used a certain amount, and then what it was for and the date we did it on, and now we have, you know, a different amount. Um, but our registration, y'all, I cannot explain this enough. We live in a, pro a personal property tax state. Um, <laughs> this, this one, this, this one was definitely creeping up on us and we did over budget a little bit, a little bit with $1,200, but we are going to go ahead and keep it at $1,200 just cause it's a fairly even goal for us to reach. Um, and I mean, we can definitely do it by next month still, even if I have to, you know, dedicate a little bit more money for my next paycheck to it, it's fine. It's just that in March I was like, honey, we, we have to do this. Like we just have to. 
So this is the method that I saw and I liked it and I proposed it to him and he wanted, you know, to go ahead and give it a try, see if it was definitely something I would stick with. <clears throat> Um, so just another thing about our income, we do both get paid at the very beginning of the month, um, for our VA disability, uh, and then we also are both full-time online college students, and we both use VA benefits, so, you know, we get that. Well, my benefit is different from my husband's, um due to just some things that have happened in the past. So I kind of act as the middleman between the VA and the school. And whatever's left, I, you know, I keep or I buy books with for school. And then, yeah, that, that's pretty much it for that. Um, and then um, he is, he does stay home. The roles are reversed. I was a stay-at-home parent for a little while while our kids were really young. And I loved it. That's when I learned to coupon. It's, you know, I, I got to watch the kids grow up, stay home with the kids. And it was so much fun just seeing them, you know, turn into <laughs> what they are now. We do have two beautiful children, one boy, one girl. And um, uh, they're just so happy. And I am so incredibly blessed to have them as my kids. But uh, the rules are reversed now. He stays home. I do work full time. And, and I love it. I love my job. I love what I do. I might, might hurt myself every once in a while at work, but, um, I don't even know how I did that. Honestly, that, that one, that one was a shocker. I just happened to look down at work one day and was like, oh my, um, that's crazy. But, uh, yeah, so, so now he stays home full time and takes care of the house and, and our dog. We do have the beautiful German Shepherd. Um, he he's quite the old man now. He he doesn't he doesn't you know he's kind of set in his ways, if you will. But he's a good dog. He's a really good dog. I'm super glad we have him. And then you know that that leads me to another thing is like when when we get farther into this I do want to budget my husband's income like this as well for cash stuffing but give him like his own binder and just so he can he can have something as well but we're still working out some kinks like we had to get caught up on some credit card payments from one month um just cuz it's just how things worked when I started doing this. We didn't account for some due dates, and uh, but we made it. It worked out. No big deal. And then, um, yeah, so what you see in my videos currently are me stuffing my income just because um, he handles the mortgage. He handles our vehicle insurance. He handles most of our consumer credit card debt, minimum payments, and then I kind of just handle the rest. Both of our vehicles are paid off. We do not have a monthly payment on our vehicles, which is great for us right now. And then uh, another thing is our kids do currently attend a private school, so we do budget for our tuition for them. We also are going to be budgeting for fundraisers throughout the throughout the school year. So I do got to start giving more into the kids binder for that. Um, but yeah, it's just one, you know, it's one of those things like if you have to figure out something to focus on right now that you have, you know, a very limited time to raise funds for, like we do with our registration and personal property tax then you know give more to that as it is, as you can right now but then after that is paid slowly give into it that way you don't have to stress and worry about so much of your money and your income going one time of the year into something when you know you could have saved up slowly throughout the year and that you know that like i said was our ultimate push to budgeting this way 
um, but I love it. It's fun. I come, I'll come in here and just look at my binders and be like, what, what else can I do to make this my area and, and just, just enjoy it. Um, so I wanted to tell you guys how much I just love these and I cannot wait to start using them. This is going to be so exciting to use. I am going to probably have to get some 10k slips, but it's definitely not going to be anytime soon. That I think would be more as we build our emergency fund once we hit a certain goal on our credit card debt. And um, I don't know, I just, I can't wait to start using these things. That's going to be so awesome. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to give you an intro to, to me and my family. We are a family of four, plus our, our fur baby. Um, we, I don't know, we just kind of typically fly by the seat of our pants. Like, our kids enjoy staying at home and, you know, playing Call of Duty with dad sometimes. And just playing, my, they play Minecraft on their own. They have fun in their own ways, too. And, um yeah we definitely have some big goals and I hope you guys stick around to to watch us us grow through our goals and and finish them and get them accomplished um I will also be setting up probably a moving binder to be honest because that's going to be a whole ordeal on its own we're gonna have you know the I don't even know. We might have to save up to rent a place by month, you know, until we buy a new house. We are probably going to have to save up for a moving company or a moving truck. Y'all, when we moved into this house, we moved ourselves. And honestly, I think we, if we pay some good money, we will not have to do that again. Because that was stressful, trying to have the U-Haul turn back in on time and just honestly driving it here with two kids and a dog. And and then we ended up living in a hotel for a month and a half because our house wasn't finished yet. And it was insane. So learning from that experience, there are some things that we wish we would have done differently but given the circumstances, like, we didn't have anything really, like, saved up to pay another company to move us. And we want kind of that luxury next time. But I just kind of wanted to make a short intro video and let you guys know that I am a real person. I have a real life. And I have debt. And that's okay. Because... We're going to pay it off. You and me together. All of us. We'll do it. I believe in you. And I hope that you stick around for my journey. Thank you.